Hey guys, it's me, Miss Morris, and today I'd like to share a read aloud of, with you of a fun winter story called Frosty the Snowman. And this story is based on the song Frosty the Snowman, and I hope that you find yourself singing along to it as we read. This story is retold by Carol North, and it's been illustrated by Terry Super. And this particular version came out in 1990, and I think it's a lot of fun, and I hope you really enjoy it. Here we go. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Once upon a time, there was a snowman named Frosty. You can see him right there. The children loved to play with Frosty. They formed a ring and danced around him. I wish Frosty could talk to us, said one of the children. How many of you have ever made something and you wished it would talk back to you? Like a drawing or something out of clay. I know I have. Or even just one of your toys, maybe your Barbie or your stuffed animals. I used to wish those things would talk to me. One day, the children brought an old silk hat for Frosty to wear. As soon as they placed it on his head, a magical thing happened. Frosty began to sing and dance. Frosty the snowman was alive! Look how happy these kids are! The children were so happy, they came to play with Frosty every day. Frosty and the children went ice skating together. Round and round, they skated on the frozen pond. Once, Frosty slipped and fell, ker-plunk. But he just smiled his magical smile and jumped right back up. So he, even when he's falling, he doesn't look like he's very upset. He still looks like he's having a good time. Another time, Frosty and the children all piled on a sled and went sledding. Wee-hee-hee, said Frosty. Look at us go. Look how much fun everybody is having. They're going super fast. One day, Frosty said to the children, would you take me to town? I've never been in a town. They all skipped along, smiling and laughing all the way. Now, what do you think Frosty wants to do in town? There's a lot of places I've never been, but anytime I think about them, I think there's a reason why I want to go there. Why do you think Frosty wants to go into town? For an ice cream cone? Maybe to to see to go to the bank. Maybe <laughs> let's see. Frosty looked in a pet shop window. Well, that's a surprise. I didn't see that coming. He even pressed his nose up against the glass to get a closer look. So it seems like Frosty really likes animals, and those animals seem to really like Frosty. And it pushed his little nose right up to him. When Frosty and the children got to the bake shop, Frosty looked at the muffins in the window. Oh, can we go inside and get a muffin? He asked. I've never had a muffin. So what do you think might happen if Frosty goes inside a shop where there's lots of warm ovens? I don't know. I want I hope that muffin's not too hot. But when they went inside the shop, Frosty began to melt. Oh, I must go back outside, said Frosty. Frosty ate his muffin sitting on a bench with the children all gathered round. So he could see that that was a problem. He can't go inside warm places. He'll melt but he can enjoy his muffin with the children outside. Oh, he still looks like he's a little scared. Like, if I started melting, I'd probably get a little scared.
At the end of the day, Frosty smiled his magical smile and said, We've had such a good time today. I'll never forget it. He had a special gleam in his eye. So he's, he's had a very nice day. And he says, I will never forget it. Soon the days got warmer and the snow began to melt. When the children came out to play one really sunny day, they couldn't find Frosty. They looked everywhere. Finally, they went to the bake shop and there on the bench outside was a note. It was from Frosty. Don't cry. I'll be back again someday. Love, Frosty. And the children didn't cry. They knew that Frosty would come back. They could picture his magical smile and feel his warm heart. Can you? Can you guys feel his, see his magical smile and feel his warm heart? Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, over the hills of snow. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really enjoyed the story of Frosty the Snowman. And maybe you'll, if you haven't heard the story of Frost, ha, heard the song Frosty the Snowman, you might look it up. It's it's a definitely a fun song to sing. Um, if you enjoyed this story, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. Your sub support means so much to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that subscribe button right here at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.